Well, guys, we've just seen the sun exhibit an extremely rare behavior. The sun has just produced a X 1.1 class flare and it lasted over five hours. And what made this an extremely rare event is that it was a sympathetic solar flare. So that means that two separate sunspots, 3614 and 3615, erupted simultaneously because they are magnetically connected. Now, sympathetic solar flares don't always erupt simultaneously. Sometimes they can erupt with up to a 30 minute difference between the first eruption and the second eruption. But these ones, they were actually simultaneous and they were extremely rare. And what makes this even more interesting is that it is the second extremely rare sympathetic solar event that we have had in two months. Because back on January the 22nd this year, we also had a sympathetic solar event that was near simultaneous. But when you look at this video, it's pretty much simultaneous. And they say that it was an extremely rare phenomenon. So how much more rare would it be when these are happening within the space of two months of each other? And they are simultaneous because when you actually look at what they consider a sympathetic solar flare it's anything up to 30 minutes apart and when I looked at the study paper that's attached to this article here from space.com that didn't actually give you a classification for the different timing with each of these sympathetic flare events so it didn't actually tell us which of these sympathetic flare events were simultaneous and which were happening up to a half an hour apart. So I can only imagine if these are already extremely rare events, how much more rare they would be when they are happening simultaneously. And now we have these extremely rare events happening within two months of each other. And that's also to be included in the fact that our sun is going into the peak of solar maximum a year earlier. It was supposed to go into solar maximum in 2025 and it's now going into solar maximum in 2024, any time between now and the end of the year. So we are seeing some very unusual behaviors happening on the sun and you can actually expect that this is going to affect our planet because the principle of correspondence says that everything is connected. And so if we're seeing these massive changes on our star, we can expect to see the effects playing out on our planet. And I would not be surprised if um, due to this event that we're going to see an increase in earthquakes and volcanic activity and severe weather events because as you can see we are experiencing extreme ionization you would not be able to use high frequency equipment like two-way radios and navigation equipment in these areas and you would have some issues in these areas here we're not yet seeing the magnetometers showing that we have elevated um, um, geomagnetic disturbance, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happens too because we literally did go straight into a proton event as soon as the flare erupted and we are now past the warning threshold. So... I would definitely expect that we are going to see some effects from this with, as I've said, you know, elevated earthquake activity and volcanic activity and also severe weather events. So, yeah, guys, heads up. The sun is doing more weird shit and I mean, this sunspot here was already pretty weird. Um, 
they actually made mention of this yesterday on spaceweather.com because it is such an unusual looking sunspot um they basically did make a article about this they did mention how unusual this sunspot was so again we are just seeing very unusual changes on our sun and two extremely rare events happening twice in two months guys so i'll put all of these articles underneath and you can check them out for yourself in more detail and as always peace out